The British Standards Institute has assembled a committee to review the cricket helmet standard um, and that is formed from a number of uh, different individuals representing a load of different agencies, so the manufacturers themselves, um, science and engineering specialists like myself, um, medics, um, players, agents, representatives, all kinds of people are on this, um, this panel to ensure that the standard represents a consensus across the relevant stakeholders and once that's been agreed, a new standard will be issued, published by the British standards and it will supersede the previous standard. So this is a, essentially this is an international standard. British standards are recognised globally as a leader in all aspects of safety. Um, so that's, that's what this is. There is also an Australian and New Zealand standard for cricket helmets. But this is, this is globally recognised. So certainly once a helmet's been, been struck, yeah, it would be appropriate to, um, to consider replacing it. If you look after your helmet, then it should last you a good number of years. Um, if you don't, then it can last not very long at all. You clearly don't want to be drop kicking your helmet into the kit bag when you get pulled out by a googly, so, you know, but if you look after your helmet, then it should be for a few of years. That said, the helmet manufacturers and, and we would recommend that if the helmet sustains a significant ball, direct ball impact, then it should be replaced. The current standard was put in place in 1998, so it's been servicing for 15 years. Um, uh, it's difficult to know uh, how long this current standard will last. I think a, a large part will be as to what the epidemiology of injury within the community is. If we don't see injuries, then maybe um, this standard will stand for a long time.